So here we are, just doing caregivers. <laughs> Ramblings. And I got a nice <laughs> ear lick. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever. Good day, I say, good day. <laughs> Welcome to Press Play on Life and Caregiver's Ramblings. Mm, got my ginger tea. Ramble on for a bit on this glorious, beautiful day here in Missouri about what it's like being in quarantine with uh, a sister of special needs. Drinking my tea out of my grandma's old uh, kind of era, aero, aeruple, France. <laughs> aeruple, France. Anyway, out of this old French, 1970s French cup of my grandma's. I missed last month. This is the quarantine edition. Uh, you know, it's hard for us to even understand what in the world's going on. So for Nancy, her room is her whole world. Has her TV, she has her headphones, all her precious stuff is in that room. And uh, this quarantine, this quarantine isn't really much... Like, she can't tell the difference between quarantine and what's going on out in the world. The only thing that she wonders is, why, why are we stuck at home? She, she just does not get it at all. She, uh, thinks I can still run to the post office or to the store anytime I need to, to go and get her, uh, she thinks she's always going to get a card. She always believes there's going to be a card in the mail for her. So she's always thinking, run to the post office, Kelly, go get me my mail. And then you're like, Nancy, you didn't get anything. Um, or she always wants me to go buy the entire Walmart store of everything she possibly could <laughs> want to eat. Um, but I can't, I can't just run out at a moment's notice now and just go and get stuff for her. Bad to and I think she's sick of Karen and I being around all the time, both of us nonstop. But you know, Karen and I, we have no we have no way of escaping. You know, she Karen usually can go off uh let me fix this. Karen can usually go off to work, you know, and uh she gets away from me and away from Nancy and has a little kind of time to herself. Um I usually can run to the post office <laughs> or the bank while Karen's here and and uh, go and, and get things done but I, I just don't get to do that as often but I am able to get away by going outside and and playing in my garden I've uh, went a little overkill this year and I've planted just about everything I have potatoes and onions and tomatoes and uh, I love the smell of dill. You wouldn't think it but dill smells so good. I have some dill, I have some flowers, my raspberry bushes uh, all leafed out and looking pretty. Pretty soon we'll have some nice raspberries on there. Oh I have so many peppers. I got a big uh, packet of peppers and <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck a pick a peck a Peter Piper picked a peck a pick a pickled peppers. <laughs> Not something I can do. Um, and uh, so I have uh, oh, 
serrano. I have some serrano peppers. I have some jalapeno peppers. I have some, oh gosh, every pepper known the man. <laughs> <laughs> so I have gone a little, I've gone a little crazy. Oh, I have corn, I have pumpkins, I have squash. <laughs> I've gone a little nuts on my, uh, on my garden. Yeah, right now they're just little seedlings, but it's going to be really pretty um, and a lot of fun. My problem is once it starts getting stinking hot, I'm not too fond of gardening anymore. But while it's so gorgeous out, <laughs> then I'm outside all the time playing with it. Karen, she's working from home. She's not actually going into the office, so Nancy keeps asking, when do you go back to work, Karen? When do you go back to work? And Karen's like, I have no idea. Stop asking me that, I'm still working. That's, that's it, we're just like everybody else. We're stuck here at the house. Not really, I don't know if you can hear that scratching and meowing. My indoor kitty wants to come outside. He's not allowed to. Um, <laughs> but he thinks he's allowed to. He thinks he gets to come outside. I haven't really had many doctor's appointments. We did. We did have one uh, doctor's appointment that we went to where uh, we got Nancy all suited up with gloves and her little mask she said she felt like a cowboy <laughs> uh i didn't film anything but here's a picture of me and nancy i found one of those big whoop de doo masks in the basement from when i had been working on a project so that's the one i'd been work using uh didn't think i could have nancy use the one that i've been using so she just has a bandana tied around her face and she thinks she's uh, a <laughs> a cowgirl <laughs> We've had some, it's been weird, I've never done this, uh, just video calls with the doctor. Um, we've had a couple of those where we're just uh, talking to the doctor via video chat. So that's, that's new. <laughs> Nancy loves it because she gets uh, undivided attention from the doctor. It's like when a Carrie calls and she's doing uh, the video chat and Nancy's like, I want to talk, I want to talk. So... <laughs> she thinks it's super cool. Let's see, I just literally just had the, the dentist call me and they had to reschedule because they're not opening up until May 18th. So I don't have another dentist appointment until like July now. Binge watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I found this new guy. Y'all should watch. He's really cool. It's uh, doing it ourselves. It's uh, this kid. Well, I don't know. He might be my age. He may not be a kid. But he's, uh, he and his brothers and his family, they're from Britain and they moved to, to France and they bought themselves a chateau. And they are completely redoing the chateau all by themselves. So it's actually very interesting. And the, and the guy is a, an amazing storyteller. I just love his videos. He's doing a great job. You should check him out. It's uh, doing it ourselves so go check out their youtube videos if you're bored um it's a good binge watch but well, guys thanks for watching catch you next time give us a like subscribe do all the things see ya